Hello and welcome. Welcome to the 10K ATM YouTube channel. Okay, so we were going through some examples of how to use the 10K total profit target, and this is part 10. So this is how to use the 10K total profit target, part 10. I've changed the you know, the wording from from words to numbers, 10, 1 and a 0, rather than a T-E-N. Anyway, so we were showing you some examples here of looking for 30, how to use a T this TPT. This is it's an example of how to use a 10K TPT. Looking for an example of looking for 30 points, setting a stop of 37 and a half, auto trading time, which, you know, means it starts at 7 a.m. and the time now is 2.54 p.m., um, uh, using, yes, did you want to use a profit target, or uh, sorry, to lock in profits, yes or no, true or false, and we said true, and we wanted to lock in, I'll show you an example of locking in um, three points, if it hit three points, but remember what I was saying over here, let's get rid of this a minute, let's close it down there, okay, um, you can see auto trading off, that trade where we thought, well, is it going up? Should we go down? Is it going up? Um, well, I wasn't sure. I really didn't know what to do. Didn't wasn't clear to me. So you can see that was a high over there. This is a previous low over here. But we said, okay, let's go for a long trade because I wanted to show you within the TPT what would happen if it does go up three points and lots of three points in. But look at this. Let's try that again. Um, this is now, let's switch auto trading on again and see if we can get this to work for us. Okay, so in the last trade it was stopped out. So that basically means that if you put a stop loss in, knowing that's where you are happy, well, who's happy to get out on the stop loss, but you get out at that point, that's it it will do it for you. The TPT will do it for you. So now we got in. See that little red line there? It's now locked in. See it's moving up? It's locked in three points and now it's moving up. See that? You caught it. So what was happening there was we had this locking trigger of three points. So the three points was hit as the markets went up and then um, the lock-in pips was three, the lock-in trigger was three, so when it got to, in this trade here, for instance, let's show you, well, I have to close this down again. I'm going to call out some numbers. So remember, this is an education, tutorial education. So it didn't make a lot, but it's not about making a lot, it's about getting it right, okay? So let's key this number in together. Um, cannot see it, but it's... Then we're going to just use 502, the last five digits, 502.43. Okay, let's reverse it because we were going for a long trade. So the end result was we came out at 507, or even just cut out the, the five, um, etc. Let's just call it um, zero, because this is like a pennies per point, at, by the way. So it's zero, seven. 0.23 minus, we can even cut out the 7, 7.43 equals, oh, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, let's see, no, nope, going the wrong way. All right, let's say 4.3 minus 2.3 equals 2, is that right? Yeah, that's right, 2. So it didn't give us the whole 3, did it? Because that's what happens, they take some back, a little bit of slippage. But what had happened was um, the price had moved in our favor. Look at it now. The price had moved in our favor up to three. It locked in the three. It trailed and started to trail where at three, the trigger was set at three to use a trailing stop trigger at three. It was trailing one step behind, but then it pulled out, pulled back and there was some slippage which took back some of our profits but it still left us in profit. Do you get that? Should we have another go? What's the time? 
we've got five minutes in. Let's have another go. Okay, it's moving up. Now, is it going to go to that previous high? Let's try. Let's see what happens. It's pulling back. It would be nice to get back on, get in on the pullback. So, to hear that, didn't go through. So, that pullback's too big for me. Mm. That pullback means people are taking profits from this sudden rise up here. So, now if we went down to seconds, second chart, like uh, this is a one minute chart, we went down to something like a 30 second chart, we have to see more of what's going on. And we do have the facility, but not actually providing it yet, because I don't want people to get into dealing with seconds, because it's a bit, it's too much to, to load. But if you would like to see the seconds chart, if you'd like it to be part of the package, we can put it in for you. But see that pullback, see that? So it's too much of a pullback to say, I'm going to go long, because it's actually going down, isn't it? So normally what you'd say is you go in the direction of the trade. But coming back to this, letting you know how this works in real time. Um, so we had a lock-in trigger. We had the profit lock-in saying, yes, true. The trigger was three, so it meant price going up or price going down. Once it goes three points in our favor to the upside or downside, it will trigger. And then we put this number three. Don't, this number could be anything you want, but we put number three in there. So it locked in. The trigger was three. It locked in three. And after it locked in three, it's then asking us, well, now, would you like to use a trailing stop? And yes, we would. But then again, we can say, no, we don't want to. But I think it makes sense to put in a trailing stop. So put it to true. And the trailing stop was set at three. So it's three, three, and three. So let's go back. The lock-in. Do you want to use a lock-in profit? Do you want to lock in your profits? Yes, I do. Where do you want to lock them in at? Oh, well, I'd like to lock it in when it gets three points in favor, please. Okay. And how many pips would you like to lock in? Well, why don't we lock in the three? Okay, great. Would you like to use a trailing stop? Oh, yes, please. I'd like to use a trailing stop. Great. Okay, so where, where would you like the trailing stop to trigger? Oh, why don't we just... Why can't I have or can I have it trailing or tri tr triggering at three? Oh, yes, you can. So all these threes. And how far behind would you like your trailing stop to be? Well, if it's only three, you can't really have it much further than what? Well, but one here. I suppose you can have it five points behind but it may come back and stop you out. So we can use another example in a short while. So this means the trail stop trigger, trail step trigger is three. And as it was moving up, we saw it was moving up. The price is moving behind it. If we check out the last video, which would be video nine, part nine. But then when it come, came back, there was some slippage. We prefer slippage to the positive rather than negative. But that tells you how to use the 10k total profit target or 10k tpt which we'll use some more examples in a minute or another day thank you